Hello and welcome to the first of the Quest tutorial videos. My name is Frédéric Perra and Quest is the program that I have developed with the help of Dr. David Bryce and Dr. Corey Whittefield. Quest stands for Quadrupolar Exact Software and it is a program for calculating the exact uh, static NMR line shapes or NQR line shapes for quadrupolar nuclei. So this program works without the use of approximations and is then valid for any Longmore more frequency or any size of quadrupolar interaction. The graphical user interface for this program is shown here. We're at the bottom of the screen. Uh, there's a gray box and this is where the spectrum will be plotted. And at the top we have the set of variable parameters which can be edited to simulate your spectrum. So the Longmore frequency and the spin of the nucleus can be set at the top of the screen here. And the spectral window can also be edited by changing the center frequency and spectral width options. The uh, EFG tensor parameters are at the bottom here where we have the quadrupolar coupling constant or CQ and the asymmetry parameter. It's also possible to add a chemical shift interaction by changing the isotropic chemical shift as well as the span and the skew. Uh, you can also change the relative orientation of the uh, chemical shift tensor with respect to the electric field gradient tensor uh, with the use of three Euler angles, alpha, beta, and gamma. But I will discuss the theory and the, diff and the different parameters more in the second tutorial. Uh, lastly, uh, you can also add Lorentzian or Gaussian broadening to the spectra. So to calculate a spectrum, you can simply click on the Calculate Spectrum option here at the top left of the spectrum. And once that's done, the calculation progresses and you get the simulated NMR spectrum. It's also possible to use uh, to just simply hit the Return key, which also calculates the spectrum. So the default spectrum uh, contains 500 data points. That is the default number of data points in Quest. This is uh, so for a speed issue. But if you, are, if you want to create a figure or get somewhat higher resolution, you can click the high quality spectrum button. And this will generate a spectrum with 2,000 data points. And so a slightly higher quality spectrum, which is good for making figures. Uh, you, know, you also have the variability of being able to change the powder average quality in Quest, so the number of uh, crystallite orientations that you calculate. Um, what this, this parameter actually does, I will discuss in the next episode where, when I discuss the theory. But really what this does is it gives you the option to be able to trade off uh, quality for speed when you're actually fitting your spectra. So you can put, for example, a very low powder average quality and yet a spectrum which is highly distorted but you still have the right singularities at the right positions or you can put a very high powder average quality and get a very smooth NMR line shape but this of course takes longer to calculate so uh, thank you for listening to this video in the next tutorial I will be uh, discussing the theory behind Quest, what the calculation actually does, the powder average quality, and what all these different uh, NMR parameters are.